Hey everyone, Devin here. Uh, today I got a new video, and uh, this was a video requested uh, by somebody in the comments, um, and I said I would do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm using a different recording software today. Uh, I'm just gonna be in 60 FPS. Uh, I'm gonna experiment with it, so this is kind of my experiment with it. Um, and uh, if it doesn't work out the way I'd like it to, then I'll go back to using what I'm usually used to. But I figured this will look better in 60 FPS, which my other uh, screen recorder can't do. So, anyway, um, I'm going to talk about fake pop-ups. Now, um, this is something that's pretty large right now in this gaming thing right now. This is a great way that uh, victims uh, get scammed is by these fake pop-ups. Now, I want to show you something and how you may end up getting one of these pop-ups and how nasty this really is. So, I got a virtual machine here. Uh, this is a clean install Windows XP. I got the antivirus down here on the virtual machine. So, or excuse me, the virtual machine. Uh, so, I'll open up Google Chrome here. So, basically, um, it was kind of nasty. Oh yeah, I can't do that in XP. Okay. So, say for example, you wanted to go to Google.com and you accidentally type an F in front of it. And you don't realize it, so you get push enter and give it a second load. And this looks like a pop up, I can just tell by the URL. Yep, there we go. And it starts playing all these booping noises, which I'll mute. Uh, I can still hear that. Oh, it's so loud. Right, let's do this. Anyway, um, it plays these irritating noises now. That's one way that people actually get their victims. Now, the problem is is that um, that's an actual registered URL. FGool is a real URL, and it's an advertising platform. And these scammers put their fake pop-ups on here, and they pretty much lock up your browser. See, I can't really do anything right now. Um, and, you know, there's nothing you can do. And they do that on purpose. They want to get their victims sucked in that way. It's a nasty way of doing it now. Let me open up another Chrome window here. Now there's even more than just that. Um, if I can get to that other Chrome window, it's not gonna let me. See what I mean? And it almost forces you to call this number because you can't really do anything because this thing gets in the way. So here is how to get rid of one of these pop-ups. Now you want to go down here to your taskbar. You want to go to Task Manager and you want to find uh, whatever the, the window is that has the pop-up. So, for example, it would be this one, System Error Warning, and you want to click End Task. And if that doesn't work, then you can right-click it and go to Processes and End Process, and that'll kill it. And uh, then all the pop-ups gone. Now, sometimes these pop-ups can be real nasty and set the pop-up as a home page all on its own, um, which this one didn't do. But if you get one of those that set the home page on its own, what you can do is if you right-click, I'm not sure how to do it on XP, but I believe... If you're using Windows 7, um, you can usually right click the taskbar here. Uh, I can actually just show you here. Uh, just a second, give me a second here. Monitor capture, and we'll do, I believe it's 2. Or is it 1? That's no, 2. Yeah, okay. So let me turn that guy off. Alright, so I'll just show you here. So here's my desktop. So you can right click it and do incognito window and then you can go to settings and change the home page that way by going to settings and uh, changing the home page this way back to whatever you had it or back to default or whatever you set it to. So that's pretty much that and that's one way to get rid of that issue now. If you ever encounter one of these pop-ups, like I said, just close them away, I just told you, and if you, sometimes these pop-ups can leave little traces behind, tracking cookies, whatever. Uh, one program I recommend you install is Malwarebytes, uh, it's free, and I rec I just recommend you have this in general, uh, along with your antivirus, um, anti <laughs> antivirus, and, uh, it, it, it scans for malware, it's free, and also I recommend that you download, I don't have it on this virtual machine, but I recommend you download SpyBot. Uh, and all this will be in the link in the description below. It's pretty simply click update and scan, and it'll scan for uh, malware. Uh, so that's one way to get rid of a pop-up. Now, what can be real nasty about these is that 
Um, there's many domains that I know of that have these fake pop-ups attached to them. There's F Google, like we just showed you, and then there's H Google, and uh, Google with an extra O. You know, simple mistakes, and it's such a nasty t tactic. Now, what's even more messed up is that Facebook uses these domains as a way to get their user, get new users to log, make, create an account. Let me show you if I can get one of those. You won't get the same thing every time you type this URL in. It's like a randomly generated thing. Most of the time I get a pop-up. Pop-up seems to be the most popular thing you get on here. Like, for example, here's the same pop-up we already had. So we'll try again. But you can see how easy it is for someone to get one of these pop-ups and not even know it. There it is again. We'll try a different one, like... I'll try that and see what that gives me. Let's see. See what I mean? And then here's a Facebook campaign thing. They want you to sign up. See what I mean? So, I mean, even Facebook uses these things to lure you into using their thing. Now, I actually thought this was a fake Facebook website, but this actually does seem to actually be Facebook, because... It says Facebook.com right here, and I didn't notice that before. I just it, I just looked at the page and thought this might be like some sort of a uh, uh, thing where they collect your information and they put you on some sort of list. I know actually on Facebook, but this is actually is Facebook, so kind of nasty. So anyway, uh, I hope that helped. That's a little information on pop-ups and how to get rid of them. Uh, like I said, if you ever get a pop-up, I recommend you download uh, Malwarebytes and uh, also Spybot. Uh, I have all these on my physical machine, uh, along with Crap Cleaner and Cleanup. Um, I'll just help get rid of junk on your computer as well. Um, all free programs, by the way. They're all free programs that I'm telling you guys about. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, anybody, like I said, if you ever get a pop-up, do not call a pop-up. Um, actually, if you really wanted to, you could... Uh, Hexium has a website. You can report fake pop-ups. You'll leave that down in the description below. And uh, and if you want to report the number to me, you can too. I'll leave my report thing down below too. And uh, I can get to the company exposed. But do not ever call these pop-ups. They're fake. Uh, and I hope this helps, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.